Jamaicans are tired of hearing the same bad news over and over. In a Jamaica, a money work because some of them sit here where you have na Jamaica with them are people who you think could have know better. Them are upper class people. It's like them don't care, they don't care nothing about the law because they know say once them do something na Jamaica, if for them is a slap on the wrist, so they don't really care. So they can go and do anything they want to do because they know the chance of them spending any time at jail is like maybe at 90-10%. So now, a well-known record producer in Jamaica has been accused of killing three people. This guy is Lynn Val Thompson Jr. of Shabdan Records and me no say most of them must hear about him because him, him popular and him father is very popular. He was arrested and him was charged on Saturday with fatally shooting three people in their twenties in a late May. Well, according to the authorities who put out a statement Sunday, them say. They never give any details about what happened and why it happened and why he killed it. And you see how that go? You understand? Why they don't put out the full details of what happened just because of who he is? So now, in defense attorney Danahue Martin told reporters that Thompson is innocent, but we don't expect to hear anything more than that because him hire him to prove him innocent. So him can't tell, him couldn't, I mean, they shouldn't even be part of the report because the only thing him can say is his client innocent. He can't go to go say my client guilty. So them shouldn't even try to get a statement from him. Now, this guy Thompson is the son of musician and record producer Linval Thompson senior which is his namesake who worked with the artists including lee scratch perry and bonnie lee so thompson jr was taken into custody by the joint anti-gang task force following an operation in saint catherine south on june 3rd after he was identified as a person of interest in the triple murder, which occurred in Rose Heights, St. James, on May 25th. Now you tell me, what can somebody do so for you to take them life? You can't make life. You can't breed breath in a people. So why I go take life? What? You're too big? You're too big? To respect other people's life. Yes, there's a whole lot of mix up, mix up, a go on in Jamaica, you know. And sometimes when you question it, you understand them in a some mix up. And sometimes they want to silent people. Why you see them take their life? Or them feel safe, they take their life, whatever they know about them, they will get away with it. And it's a good chance that this same guy, might get away with it because radio here the defense attorney has said he's innocent and the judge and the jury might just listen to what this man has said and say innocent and sometimes people get off out of fear because when them find them them when them charge them for murder they might send other people come back and hurt them so the system is very corrupt. And this is why these things keep happening over and over and over again. And the cycle will never end. 
Don't expect it to end anytime soon. Because the big people them up there in it. And that them are sending the little man them down here. Go do it. So it not going to stop anytime soon. So anyway guys. Remember to do the right thing. Guys. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. If this is your first time here. Welcome. If it's not your first time here. Welcome back. If you have not yet subscribed. Now is the right time to do so. Remember to hit that like button, it's important. And share my YouTube video with your friends, your family. Share it on your social media. I am looking to get to that 1,000 subscription and only you can help me do so by sharing my YouTube video. So I will see you back here on my next YouTube video. Thank you.